Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Critics of Sister Wives think that Cody Brown's family has concocted a number of lies over the years. Articles talk about lies all the time. Not every single TLC program viewer, though, believes that's how they planned it. So, do a lot of individuals exaggerate how serious they are? Continue reading to learn what other people believe. Mary and Cody Brown lied. The Brown family does not, however, always tell lies. Mary Brown acknowledged that she spent years living apart from her family. In a statement, she said Cody allegedly refused to acknowledge their relationship was gone. She thus carried it out and infuriated her supporters by dehumanizing women. Indeed, several opponents thought that she was dehumanizing herself by lying. Fans' agreement that Robin and Cody Brown purposefully stoked the pot led to yet another major falsehood. That was in reference to Robin Brown's later denial of the claim made by the patriarch of Sister Wives that he chose her wedding gown. That was the first indication of manipulation, scheming, and plotting for many TLC fans. Are the lies of Sister Wives overstated? This week, a TLC fan believed that the criticism of the lies told by Sister Wives family members went too far on Reddit. They penned. The entire show was a lie. They told us falsehoods. I keep witnessing this and it seems like the fandom is just accepting it as true. To be honest, this kind of statement greatly oversimplifies the events that occurred. Is there anybody here who doesn't get that subtlety? They didn't all gather around a table and decide to fabricate all these wonderful things about themselves in order to put on a show. In support of Cody Brown's family, they continued, saying, some things about their lives were better back then. They were telling themselves things were even better than they were, according to the enthusiast. They may have also made an effort to set themselves apart from Warren Jeffs. Furthermore, they were just on TV. By the end of the tirade, the TLC fan believed that the viewer's claims that the family had weaved a web of deceit were lies to themselves. Fans of TLC react, Many Sister Wives fans concurred in the comments section that it could be possible to exaggerate some of the lies. People do, after all, change with time. These are a few of their remarks. The women all behave a lot like mistreated women, in my opinion. For the first twenty or more years of their marriage, they forced themselves to accept an alternate reality in order to convince themselves that things weren't that horrible. They don't understand how bad things were. Both Reddit as a whole and reality TV subreddits fall short in terms of context awareness and subtlety. They overlook that there is a compromise. In addition, there are many stories that, through sheer repetition, become true. After all, individuals do not stay the same forever. Even have their opinions on topics changed. I detest it too when people originally interpret that as lying. What do you think of the lies that Cody Brown's family has been telling? Do you agree that the wise first motivation in the beginning was to appear superior to polygamists like Warren Jeffs? Did they plan to lie for 15 years in advance? Do you also think that, even if they were only lying to themselves, they fed their audience lies for years? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below, and return here family for all women's star Christine news. Brown, revealed her unique plans for Memorial Day weekend, and they show just how different her life has been since decoupling Cody Brown. Christine has changed her life dramatically since ending her relationship with Cody and leaving polygamy. She's embracing her audacious side with her new hubby, David Woolley. As she participated in a sportful videotape on her Instagram, Christine is beside herself with excitement over their forthcoming trip plans. Christine left Cody in 2021. Despite having reservations about dropping out the dating pool, she soon met David, and they were incontinently head over heels for one another. Christine and David married in 2023. Since her remarriage, Christine has kept her social media followers streamlined on her numerous instigative adventures with David. Christine appears to be happier than ever, and her newest plans with David are an illustration of the couple's fun-filled life together. 
Christine revealed on Instagram that she and David will be spending Memorial Day weekend at an NSCAR race. They're attending the Coca Cola 600 in Charlotte. She noted their medications include bringing hat and coolers. And she joked that all they need is a way to meet motorist Kyle Larson. In another videotape, Christine wore a racing shirt as she and David danced playfully. She participated hashtags including you jests and gosh I love my life. The couple is unmistakably enthusiastic about their forthcoming trip. Christine has joined David in other audacious conditioning throughout their relationship. She constantly shares prints of them riding ATVs in Moab, Utah, and they've also traveled to Ponta Cana, New York, and Europe. Christine wrote in a 2023 post, I love having a mate to go on these delightful new adventures with. Christine appears thrilled about her jests with David. Attending an NSCR race is a befitting coming step for the couple as they enjoy newlywed life and discover new pursuits. During her marriage to Cody, Christine's life was much more reticent. She has always been blunt and bubbly, but the family women family's conservative views meant she frequently had to control in her audacious side. The logistics of plural marriage also stifled Christine's open personality. Conversations with her family women forced Christine to remain quiet to avoid drama. As her marriage to Cody deteriorated, Christine started to show further of her spirited side. She began to go against Cody's wishes, including traveling during CVID and pursuing scoliosis surgery for their son, Isabel Brown. The Brown family stuck to the training of the Apostolic United Brethren, a Mormon branch that encourages polygamy. This redounded in a patriarchal family dynamic where Cody was in charge of his four women, Christine, Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Robin Brown. The family dynamics limited Christine's independence. In recent times, Christine verified she's no longer part of the religion, nor does she believe in polygamy. Breaking down from a restrictive church allowed Christine to find independence, the courage to stand up to Cody, and a new love with David. NSCR is frequently associated with robustious crowds and heavy drinking. The Browns didn't consume alcohol due to their faith, but since leaving her religion behind Christine has been seen drinking. It's hard to imagine Christine having attended an NSCR race during her marriage to Cody. Her comment about bringing coolers is a nod to the freedom Christine has now to enjoy her time at the racetrack as she pleases. Considering Christine participated Cody with three other women, their quality time together was limited. Cody was stretched thin between four homes and 18 children. Christine and Cody sometimes enjoyed conditioning similar as paintball together during their time on Sister Women, but Christine Noe felt prioritized in her marriage. By participating her weekend plans with David, including a videotape of the two of them joking around together, Christine proves just how near a bond she has with her new hubby. Having a monogamous relationship gives Christine the capability to travel, discover new pursuits, and spend continued one-on, one time with her partner. While she can at times appear over the top, Christine is giddy with the happiness that comes from being valued and heard in her relationship. This gives her the incitement to explore new conditioning with David, indeed one like NASCAR that seems out of character. During her marriage to Cody, Christine missed out on the tone disquisition of youthful majority. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.